Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. What happened to the silver you took from Aldon? You could hire a band of sellswords with that much. It won't be enough. We need Rishia's Saxons at our side. Any fewer would be a death sentence. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself. Force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. You think you can guzzle the grog? Eivor, join me for a drink. You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Loyal. Things were better with you around. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rhysia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest, I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? 
What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Faravid should be waiting at Stenway. to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Jorik's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Afton doesn't know our plan, but he'll hear the aftermath soon enough. Meet us on the field near the fortress. 
Let's work together. Part of its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Amor, over here. Today you may regain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulf, and would make things right by following you this day. On the battlefield once more. Old friend. Yes, my own. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every carpool, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Ilfina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. 
Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. These pigs came in great numbers. They came to fight. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> the kingdom has spoken! that drawbridge down. Let's 
eyes open for the coward King Rishir. the victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. Meet the spirits this day, Trey. <coughs> Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. 
Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishi. Soon, we will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. Moira, is half done about. Eivor, welcome. Hafton has stepped outside with Faravid. They shouldn't be far. I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. 